I would like to show you how to use this calculator, my favorite scientific calculator, to check the answer for us of the question that we just did. Okay? So this calculator, it's a Casio FX115ES, the plus version of it. So it has um, a lot of features, so like I think like the best scientific calculator so far. And it's really cool. I will show you. So turn this on. We are, do it, we are doing this, right? 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. If you turn on the calculator, this is a place where you can just do the regular calculations, like 8 times 7, things like that, right? The best part that you should go is, go to the mode, and that will have uh, different features. This is where you can find all the good stuff. Go to mode, and notice that number 5, it has EQN, equations. EQN stands for equations. And that's the one that we're going to um, going. This calculator has a few um, equation solver building for us. So let's see what do we have. Number five. And notice that we have four options. And the third option is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And this is exactly what we have right here. So of course that's the one that we are going to choose. So go to um, go to three. So right here, he asks you that um, A is equal to what, B is equal to what, and C is equal to what. And we have already de determined that A is equal to 2. So we just need to put 2 in A and hit equal. B is equal to 9. So hit 9 right there and hit equal. And we just need to fill in what's the value of C. C is negative 5. So I will put this for the negative sign, negative, and then 5, equals to, okay? And once we have entered all this, we are telling the, uh, the calculator that we are trying to solve this equation, 2x squared plus 9x minus 5 is equal to 0, okay? And then we just need to hit equal. And as you can see that, it shows us x1. The first solution is equal to 1 half. And I think that's exactly what we got earlier as well. Like the first solution is x is equal to 1 half. And notice that this calculator gives you a fraction answer. If you don't want fraction, you can also hit S to D to get decimals. Okay? But the first answer is 1 half. We got it. The next answer, let's see. To get the next answer, you can just press equal sign. And you see that x2, the second answer, is negative 5. If you want to go back, you can just press up, or you can also press down. One half for the first answer, and the second answer is negative five, which we got it. So that way we know we are doing this correctly. And this is extremely helpful when you are doing, when you are taking a test, right? When you are taking a test, because you don't want to make any mistakes, especially on a test. And this is a wonderful, this is a wonderful way to help you check the answer. To check the answer, not to do the answer, not to do the question for you though. You still have to show the, all the steps, right? You still have to write down the quadratic formula, you still have to do all these steps. This is how you check answers, okay? But before you go, let me show you this. Because if you just want to clear this, if you just press clear, or you press, um, press on to clear, or, you, or if you press um, AC to clear, you are still in here you are still in the equation solver here. What you need to do is go back to mode, go to number one for regular computation. So hit one, and then you can go back to the regular computation steps. Again, let's say the one I show you, eight times seven, it's equal to 56. 